Hello, I'm Red One, and today I'd like to show uh, one very cool feature plugin contribution from Tokyo, Japan by Hagiwara Hideaki san. So, this, um, this year, 2015, this summer, we spent um, a couple of weeks at uh, Hagiwara's uh, place in Tokyo. And he was a very generous host. He brought us to many cool places, such as the Sento, and here is a sushi restaurant nearby. And this is my son, uh, who has been traveling with me to over 18 countries, including Japan, the last eight months. And because Hagiwara is Japanese speaking, and um, they don't usually are proficient in English, um, I offered to help him when he makes any contribution. Yes, I influence him to join the dark side of open source uh, to contribute uh, one of his uh, very interesting contributions which is called the X3 simple input window. Now, usually traditional window in compare at Ampere or at Ampere is very good. It has massive detail, it has many features, but as far as fast data entry is concerned, it's a bit too clumsy for that, and improvement is needed because we have access to the source code, and Hagiwara did exactly that. With this um, contribution called the ZK Window X3, this allows um, fast keyboard data entry, and it does not sacrifice um, many other full flash features. Beside the create, read, update, and delete, it can also have an attached process and it gives you better usability and is easy to set up. But um, even though it's easy, if you can follow the page here, uh, let me get to the page. And I've helped him to edit um, his English uh, from Japanese English to real British English here. It is still a bit formidable and requires a sharp learning curve, uh, especially when you want to do things very fast. So, um, I will now show you how to set up something like this uh, quickly. So, let's get to it. Okay, first, um, to set it up, uh, but let me show you the final product. Um, and again, let me show what we meant by an old um, window. Here's a traditional window. You can see in the traditional window, um, it has great stuff. It has um, such criteria. You have to exit from it, and then you have the master detail, and it has multiple tabs. But if you want to enter data, let's say um, I want to enter some data, some data, and I want to tap. Yes, I can go by entry of data by just tabbing. And but if I want to create a new record, I have to use my mouse, I have to save this. Okay. And I have to when when I, I cannot get to a new record, I have to do this. That means I have to use my mouse, and that is not convenient for a data entry clock. Whereas the X3 window, I've set one up here. I'll show you shortly how this is done, but let me just show you. It, it gives you a better usable interface because it classifies things on the expense, items, resources, and uh, services easily. This is the way it's set up, and you can search by category, for example. Okay. And the data entry is rather nice. You can do like this, All right? Let's let's say I put something in class one. If I want to enter your four to the next line, and I can tap again, All right? And so forth. But if you keep entering, it will go down further, okay? And then it cannot go any further if you were to tap to the last line. Oh, let me put it last line class. Two and uh, to press enter, it will let you automatically create a new record. So let me go a new record. I call it new product. 
let's say a new product and uh, I just I'm, I'm using completely keyboard now so to test the 3x window and let me get to the last one class 3x and then I have to enter again see it drops back to a new record here easily and you could um, revert everything back or save it and yeah this one I need to name let me put a uh, new product 2 okay product 2 and then save it if I go back to the normal window uh, new let's see so you see they are created okay so keyboard entry is rather quick here you jump to the new line without uh, lifting your fingers from the keyboard or using the mouse and you get the option to revert back all your new records and decide to save it okay and you you can have a search criteria define it and you can have a quick entry window uh, that's not defined here you can customize all the fields well, easily let's say I were to uh, put this in oh yeah you can new fields there and you can have a frozen field let me go back to the let me remove back that field and show you what I mean um, Okay, let's say um, I have a frozen view one. Do a search. You see that it's froze here, so that you can scroll. It's like how you find it in Excel. All right, that's rather cool. So let me try something out. Let me try. Uh, if I were to tap, it will jump this way. A shift tap back, but if I were to enter, it will go down. And this is very convenient. So I'll just type something in, just like that. All right. So this is really very good. And if I were to press this revert, everything is reverted. Okay. So how do I set this thing up? But let me go back to my notes to reemphasize that um, it is making things more usable. And yes, it is easy to set up. You can see his uh, wiki page and. Yeah, I help with English translation, um, and that's no problem for me, converting from Japanese English to British English. Uh, to set it up, I believe the notes are here, step-by-step -step guide. You follow these steps. Okay, first you have to get your plugin installed. Um, you can install it from his link here, either from the source or from just his binary okay from the this from from the binary and I've done that in the source code here okay and when you run it there will be a two pack that automatically packing the data model <coughs> and when you log in as a system You'll be able to find it in the menu structure. So you'll find it here in the menu structure, and then you create a new window. So here I'll show you how I create a new window. I, I define give it a name. You must refer to a window, it must be a standing window or tab. So in this case, we have a the main tab of product and what is the sub tab remember the tab that goes horizontally the EIRS for um, item resource expenses and services so you can choose which counter tab criteria or filter you want and what's important is after you select this to name it under the SQL order by okay you can try it out and you can have more you can have a search criteria in this case i'm 
putting product category to be the field to search and you can have more fields to do searching if you want some search criteria that's from another table you can put a join statement here and you have that column appearing in the search okay so that's it so have a window have this tab and what is the sub tab field that you want and name it in the SQL order by so when you log in back into your client you will see that um, yes one more thing you have to make it appear in the menu and the trick here is you have to first define a special form yeah special form um, in this case let me show you what I meant So in the menu, you, have, you, you cannot attach it to a window, it's in fact attached by a form. So create a form, so after creating um, your 3x window, create a form, give it a name, and specify this hard-coded part, the ID of your JB Simple Impact window, and you have to look up in your database what is your new window key and usually it will be one triple zero triple zero so this is what I did and then attach it to your menu and you can drag it around so this is another trick that you may miss it and here I demonstrate to you and so that it will appear as a menu item actually a form but it works and now you can go on. You see the um, product category in the search field that's defined. And when you do a search, you will see that the product type is your sub tag. And if let's say let's try out something. So there are three items on the chemicals, only I will appear that's rather uh, cool. And you can than to your data entry. Now, if you define a process in your original window, it will appear here. So you could behave a bit like a info window and you can produce a process. This is just a mock, I don't have real process for this. And you can delete data easily. You can have quick info window and you can customize fields all right so all right then um, thank you for watching so this should help you to be able to go through creating your first x3 window easily and you can visit Hagiwara Hideaki's wiki page here let me show you and he has contributed quite a number of things and uh, yeah no problem with the English same like uh, Hiep in Vietnam, after visiting him, I encourage them that language is not a problem. Uh, if you contribute, someone else will help you. If you don't, someone else will contribute. So uh, he has joined us and now he has been contributing lots of stuff and this is really cool. We welcome him to be one of our top contributors. So I leave you by leaving my contacts and just to say arigato gozaimasu to Hagera Hideaki-san and his family his two kids for their kindness taking great care of us during our three week summer holiday in Tokyo this year in 2015 and I was staying with them too two years before in 2013.